Greetings Minecrafters and welcome to another Minecraft discussion. My name is Kimberly Quinn and I am thrilled to have a, ch a chat today about how to be the boss of your brain. After all that is what Minecraft is about. And today I'd like to talk about going with the flow and the, the flow as far as uh, the psychological theory came from Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi and he's talking about when you're in the zone. You're in your passion zone, and when we sort of lose track of time, doing what we love, we, there's no goal. It's just we're in it to win it for what it is. It might be skiing, might be art, might be Michael Phelps in the Olympics, whatevs. Don't need to be famous, though. I'm in the flow teaching every single day. I mean, I just I love it so much. So, so there's a flow where we lose sense of time. That's all authentic, passion-driven stuff. And there's also go with the flow in another way. And they all gel. They all go together because they're all coming from the same source, right? Is is it's, I'm kind of thinking like sea turtles in Nemo and and it's interesting because people sometimes get it confused with me I'll, you know I'll say oh, I'm so easy going I'm laid back and like yeah because I'm so high energy here's the thing high energy and uptight are not the same thing you can go at warp speed as long as you're relaxed and and that's the thing and some of the ways uh, to do this are realizing um, you know to separate what we can control from what we can't for one I hear this a lot like how are you so happy all the time are you really so happy all the time? Yes, I really am. I'd say 99% of the time. And part of that, of course, is, is genetics. We can't separate that with human animals or non-human animals. I'm very happy-go-lucky by nature. I'm also committed to happy lifestyle. And I work at it. And I've got you know, spiritual practice in the morning with the gratitude journal. There's all kinds of things that go into it. And learning, you can learn to go with the flow. In fact, you can learn almost anything. We're realizing we can learn resiliency skills now. You don't have to go to the school of hard knocks necessarily. And so then, okay, back to the ninja, not ninja, geez. That too, um, coming right back at you. The sea turtles and go with the flow, even if you're high energy and moving all the time like me, is that separating the, what you control from what you can't. And I just had one of my colleagues say it the other day because we've got lots of changes going on. Not necessarily bad, you know, just that's what happens. People leave, people come in, you know, it happens at, at institutions. And every, you know, there's some concern about what if, what if, what if, and what if this department, what if that department. And I said, it's not like I don't care. I do, of course I care. I, care. I love Champlain, I love my colleagues, everything. I'm just, I was just saying to him, is that first of all, there are lots of benefits to, to change, of course. And the thing is, I can't control it. So what's the point of worrying about it? What's the point of worrying about anything? that you can't control. What's the point about worrying in any in worrying ever? Worrying doesn't fix things ever. In fact, it just saps you of all your energy you could use to actually do something. Or, you know what I mean? Like it's just a waste. So there's that. There's also um, something I've I've learned to get learned to get really good at. Doesn't mean I don't slide sometimes, but not to take things personally. It's part of go with the flow. Not to take things personally because people are all you know, we're all the authors of our own script truth right there you know and when we realize that no matter how close the person is to it to us uh, they might be your, your partner your parents your sister brother best friend whatever everybody is viewing whatever they're viewing you whatever they're saying to you through their own filter which is there's a lot that goes into that filter from the ground up you know whether you grew up in an urban place rural place where you are on the birth order, like they're filtering not thinking of all that but realizing that you know the high majority like 90 plus percent of anything anybody says to you is about them not you so the minute we realize that especially if they're snarky and full of vinegar they're feeling vinegarish for some reason you know people who are feeling whole and complete and happy don't generally spit venom you know at people and also uh, another thing is is I've gotten also really good at letting stuff go and like Wayne Dyer says you know we no one nobody nobody dies from the snake bite the snakes already bitten you it's the venom that we die you know we die from like letting it roll through our bodies so there's a lot to this go with the flow thing realizing that life happens we may as well ride the wave um, and go, go with the flow also how it helps a lot to be in the present moment you know I do that too because not being in the present moment as much as you can means that your life's going by without you being a part of it just just the truth there so I'm saying em embrace your inner sea turtle and go with the flow this is Kimberly Quinn signing off from the beautiful Champlain College campus have a mindful day